this is Mundan Bhagavan and this video we are going to record and play back our first JMeter script. In previous video we have set up for the proxy level. Now we can start recording. Let's go to the JMeter and you have the test plan. Right click, click on add, click to the threads, users and thread group. Basically we are adding the thread group or the number of users that are going to do the load testing. For simplicity, we will add the thread group with minimal configuration, which means that we have only one user and it will be added in one second and they will execute for only one time. Remaining details we will see in the different video. Now we have the thread group. Again, go to the test plan, right click, click add and go to the non-test elements, test script recorder. So the job of test script recorder is it will record whenever you start the server and you do the UA actions and this script will be moved to the a required place. So in test plan creation you can see whenever you record where it has to go I need to send this to the thread group so I will click on the thread group and the same way you go to the request filtering here you can remove unnecessary files or let's say the JS files and the image files so just click on this add suggested excludes it will be added now again come to the test plan creation and go to the system settings make sure your proxy server is on with the local host with the port number 8888 and you go to the browser level, go to the settings, make sure you have the proxy settings here as well. Now we are going to test the same HTTP bin.org. That means that this is a sample form where we will fill the data and we will be recording this script. Now go to the JMeter, click on start. As of now, we can keep it aside. Go to the browser, refresh. And now fill some dummy data. Test and email address. Enter some dummy values. and submit this is our basic scenario we have entered everything now we can stop it now go to the JMeter and see the script output here I can see all the required scripts or all the requests that has been added whichever the scenario we have done and even you can see the details also whichever you enter into the form now we want to play back this one and we want to see the output the output can be seen only if you have the listener listeners are nothing but it will listen to your execution and it will get the metrics and the output and put it into the different reporting format. There will be a separate videos we will create on the reporting part but as of now we can create the simple listener. Go to the test plan, click on add and add the listener. View results tree. Basically it will give all the results as a tree format. Now we can see the output also when we play back the session. Click on this and here you can see the same three requests that has been executed. And here you can see the output request and the response for each and every request to the internet. Since we have made the thread group with only one user, you can see the output with only one time. If I change to multiple, uh, let's say for example, I want to use the two users and I will go to the results tree. I will clean it by clicking on the symbol. Now go to run button and click run. Here you can see it has been executed for two users. That's the reason. Unlike previous time, we have the six request here. So by this video, we have understood how to record and play back and what is the need of thread group and what is the need of test script recorder and what is the need of listener. And we have recorded and played back our entire script again. So this is all about this video. So thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.